There's drama all throughout YouTube. There's no way in getting around that. You have vloggers going at it. You have makeup gurus going at it. And now <laughs> you have mukbangers, mukbang, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Now they're going at it. All they do is eat and talk. That's all they do in their videos. So, you know they're gonna have an opinion about everyone, criticize everyone. I mean, that's what reactors do too, fuck it, I mean, shit, we do the same thing. Nick Akato Avocado and Stephanie Sue. I didn't even know who Stephanie Sue was. And Nick Akato Avocado, I knew or heard of him because of the whole Trisha drama. Trisha Paytas was a supporter of Stephanie Sue and she became friends with Nick Akato Avocado and actually kind of somewhat defended him in a way with that whole drama at first. But I don't know what occurred, I don't know what happened, but she came out with a video called Nick Akato and Stephanie Sue both fake as fuck. Okay, now this girl, you can always count on her on stating her honest opinion at all times, whether you like it or not, whether you like her or not, she's always gonna speak her mind, which I absolutely support. I don't agree with everything she does or says, but I agree with her being real, okay? And that's what this whole channel is about on Bliss Uncensored. We're gonna go ahead and watch this video and see what she's got to say because I don't know what happened. I must have missed something. And of course she's gonna eat. She's a mukbanger, you know, it is what it is. What do you have to say, Trisha? What's up, you guys? All right, well, here come the comments. Trisha's on freaking drugs. I don't know, I look the same. I look like shit every video. I don't know, I guess some days I look like shit and people want to say I'm on drugs. I don't freaking know. I'm not on drugs. I literally washed my hair yesterday and I was like, F it. We're not doing anything with it today. We're just not. We're just, we're going to go on the YouTube being messy. I'm so just, I'm so sick of just being like PC and like all this shit and everyone being so fucking fake. So I thought, fuck it. Let's do a mukbang. I'm gonna look like I'm freaking on drugs to everyone just because I have acne and I don't put my makeup on and I'm 31 years old. <laughs> Mind and gone. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about mukbang drama because I'm so sick of uh -oh. fake ass mukbangers. The two being Stephanie Sue. Uh oh. I'm fucking making that avocado. I. Oh no! It's so interesting I had because not too long ago she posted a video with them, or he did of them collaborating. I think it was like a week ago. Korean fried hot cheese hot dogs. Okay, that's how we're celebrating. That's how we're going big with this today. Korean fried cheese. Oh my God, that looks so good. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. I just got off work. You're just gonna eat like that girl right in front of me. You ain't even gonna share or offer. Come on now. I just worth that. I'm done trying to be nice and oh my god, I hope this person likes me. I don't want this person to be mad at me. Oh my god, this person to expose me. Like, no one exposed me. I exposed myself. You know what? I'm take <laughs> yes, I'm messy and I'm drama. And like, yeah, I don't really know like what's the right things to say in life and I don't know what I'm doing in this world. But guess what? I take ownership of that. That's I don't right. try to be fake and manipulate people and fucking bull all that bullshit. Uh uh. Mm hmm. Preach it, girl. What's up, Rachel? I'm talking to you. I used to like Stephanie Sue. I used to fuck with Stephanie Sue so hard. What did Stephanie Sue do this time? This girl. What happened? I, I, I can't. I cannot stand. I cannot stand her. How manipulative she's being through all this. Okay. First of all, bitch. Oh <laughs> shit. She's passionate today. This situation is triggering you so much. It's giving you so much anxiety and PTSD, which a lot of us people really fucking deal with on a day to day. Mm -hmm. You don't spend five days editing a fucking video with clips and fucking as if it's one of your freaking true crime and serious things with clips and quotes of what a manipulator is and what a manipulator does and like going through the text messages and stuff like that's the crazy first of all that was the craziest shit i've ever seen for someone who was so like triggered and traumatized and like shaking from this and like so scared of this person they spend five days making a video before the person even comes out with the video that i do agree with and i thought that that same exact way when i watched her video you cannot be afraid of someone and fear for your life in whatever way possible but yet provoke him in some way because when she posted her previous video but one of her tags says hey nick i know you're watching this you're provoking someone so if you were if you were really truly afraid of somebody why would you do that and why would you keep continuously put out videos about him 
and responding to him. If you're afraid of someone, you want to ignore and avoid, but yet you keep coming. So I don't believe that she's afraid. I just believe that she was afraid of being exposed in some way as a negative person and losing subscribers from it. That's the truth. Before the person even says anything, like, what is this person's, what is this person's ammo on you? You didn't attack his back, he's gonna expose you because you didn't, bitch, bitch, okay, that girl merch, okay, uh-huh, oh, mm. Oh my god, I'm hungry. Don't even get me started on her freaking, she made merch, guys. She made merch. All the stupid bullshit, whatever the fuck it was. It's not a sleep bullshit. I, don't, I still don't fucking get it. I don't know what it is. It's so fucking stupid, but. She made merch about this in and out joke that Nick did against her and used it for her benefit. But it, it's not in a bad way. She used it for charity. So every dollar that she earns from that merch goes straight to a campaign about bullying. So I see nothing wrong with that. She was like, I'm bu I'm, that's bullying. I'm, I'm so scared. Like, honestly, that was so bullying. She made all these freaking people apologize. Bitch, you can post whatever you want. You can talk about whoever you want. You can talk to your friends about whoever you want. You can make inside jokes about whoever you want. Nobody freaking knew. I didn't even know. I was taking the post. I still don't, I still don't know what and not to sleep means. I don't freaking get it. It's not bullying, okay? That's not bullying. But you say, and then, but then to make merch on it, you know how long it takes to like come up with the design, call freaking fan joy, and be like, oh, I want to like she did that like within the day it happened, like the day it happened. She Trish, if you watched the video of hers, someone reached out to her about the design, and they did all the work, and they reached out to her to see if she was in for it. I'm gonna actually make merch for this. Stephanie Sue is psychopathic, like actually psycho. Uh, oh, uh. My question is, girl, why did you, why are you getting yourself involved though? That's what I want okay. to know. What is this video about? Tell me, I'm please. I'm gonna get to Nick in a second. Oh, you're about to get to Nick? In a, okay. So I'll be patient. I'll be patient. Okay, I can't be that patient. Are you gonna speak? Let us know what's going on. And then her condescending ass tone in her second. She made a second. Okay. She made a second video. Here's the thing. She came back to work, right? She didn't even have my big game real quick. She was already back. She has merch out. She's like, we're gonna, we're gonna combat bullying by making merch of this. Girl, you just said that triggered you. That was your biggest PTSD in the world. Like, you couldn't believe this was happening to you. And you're making merch on it? No. No, girl. That's not how it works. That is not how a victim works. That's <laughs> not how it works. You want to play victim? That's play, true. About the victim you don't make thing. Merch off of it. Like, and so constant. Do we get a second video? Uh. I'm making a second video, girl. And which in the same video she flashed me to make a third one. She give me, give me your consent. California's a two-party consent. Bitch, it's your house security system. <laughs> Every home security system says, hey, pro property, you're being filmed. Guess what? You can use that freaking footage. You know that, girl. You know. She can't because if she wants to. She wants to make it public. She has full consent of her own footage and her own security system. She can watch that all day, every motherfucking day. She can give it to the cops. She can do whatever the fuck she wants with it privately. But to put it in public display, and I believe in her state, it's against the law unless the other people in the footage gives her permission to use it. You know that girl, you ain't dumb girl. You ain't dumb, you know this girl, okay? Like, you're allowed to use that footage, it's your home footage, okay? You can blur it out. You know the rules, baby girl, you know the rules. She could blur it out. I didn't think about that. She could. Don't be like, Nick, <coughs> give me the consent and I will post it. Like, so scary. Like, this girl literally is going to kill her fiance in her sleep. <laughs> oh my oh. god. Trisha, mm. you're crazy. Am I the only one? That looks so good. I'm hungry. I literally got off work and came here to film. I right know, I think, baby girl. When you call a lawyer, I just decided one of your videos or one of the things like, oh, the lawyer's gonna be going further into this. You just stop making videos. Mm hmm. Once the lawyer's involved, you just stop making videos, okay? Mm hmm. Because you're messing with the whole case. So is she suing Nikocado Avocado? Did I miss that? What's going on here? So fake. So, so fake. This girl scares me. Now you're, uh, now you're saying you're scared. All these damn YouTubers are afraid of everything and anything. 
Why are you guys a why are you guys public figures if you're afraid of people who watch you? Who you do business with? Who you film with? Who you talk to? Just keep yourself in your home. Stop filming. Oh. Like Nick goes over the top and acts dramatic AF. Yeah. But this girl's how scary. How scary, how I'm gonna live. I hate this shit. So is Nick Akato, but he sucks at hiding like it. it. Only one bit. He sucks at hiding it. I used to be so on this girl's team, and I'm like, girl, you are, she is full of shit all over. And all y'all who are on her side is also bullshit, because you all are the same ones. You told me, you just need to clap with Nick. You just need to clap with him. Like, why didn't you clap with him? And they're like, oh my god, like, he scared Stephanie up. <laughs> I never, I was never supportive of Stephanie Sue until the second video. The first video, I didn't even give it a chance to watch it. I just saw clips and bits and pieces from other videos. But they're both dumb as fuck. <clears throat> they clearly hung out before. They collabed before. And maybe she grew to be scared of him, whatever, but. Those must be really good. They have that in California. I wonder if they have that here too. Some, I think it's Korean or some shit. I think about Stephanie Sue's video is creepy as fuck. The fact that she treated this as like a research video, like how she does her true crime ones where she like researches it and like does the... So manipulative too to show like footage of her like... I know. Rolled up in her security footage. Yeah, I know. Mm -mm. Girl, you ain't gonna show the whole thing. Don't show that bullshit. That's manipulation. Can we talk about Nikocado Avocado? Can you add that to your video? <laughs> it's not receipts. It's not receipts when it's like your trauma. You don't need receipts for trauma. Your, your truth is your truth. Uh, speak for yourself. In some cases, victims aren't believed. I mean, of course, your truth is your truth. At the same time, you don't want people to talk down on you, especially if you've been a victim of something. Like, listen, motherfuckers, I'm going through it, and y'all don't even know. And then since you don't believe me, here you go. Now shut the fuck up. That's, that's why receipts are being thrown out there. I have to Nick now. Okay, let's talk about Nick. I'm curious to know, because that was your little buddy. You brought him around your mama and everything. Your mama loved him. What's the problem? Freaking ma'am. You just collabed with him a week ago. Girl, you got another one? I met in person. Damn. It was nice. As most people you mean in person are. Most people in person are nice people. Very few people are assholes for sure collabing or whatever. Well, I didn't like what Nick did in this whole situation. Uh uh. uh. Speak on it, girl. I'm gonna say that. His husband brought the cameo for me and May. So he can make a bunch of exposed videos on me and make money. Point blank period. That's it. That's it. A drama happened three years ago, two years ago, whatever. And he brought the cameo to expose me to make me look bad and make me look shitty. Mm hmm And you know what? I'm fucking shitty. If you felt that way two years ago and you wanted to make a video, okay. But you did this now to like Everyone's coming down on me. Everyone's fucking hate hating Trisha right now. And you jumped on that bandwagon. That's fucking shitty. Then why did you give him another chance? Why did you bring him around your around you and in your circle? Why would you do that? He showed you his two his true colors already. Because girl, that was a time where everybody was hating you. But yet you're over here giving up giving him a second chance. That's your fault. I just is. What you think he was gonna you be know, like? What else is shitty? What else is shitty? You put it out. Private text messages between you and Zach mm. about Stephanie. Zach was the mutual friend that they collabed with. No, that was because Zach, like, I don't talk to Zach. I haven't talked to him since all this stuff because, like, I don't know if I'm or whatever. I don't know if he's in his life, but that's shitty. 
That's your friend, dude. That's your friend. You're gonna throw him to the bus. Obviously but not. You make yourself Nick Akato has always looked out for himself. Only himself. And I've seen a couple of his mukbangs videos just because I was curious to know who this kid was. And you can see it in what he talks about, how he talks about it. You can just tell how this person is. And I'm a, I'm a good reader when it comes to people. And you can tell he's a person that you want to stay away from. He, he's a selfish man. Think about it. Even in his marriage, they're, they're, they have an open relationship. Not to say that every open relationship is selfishness, but at the same time, you want to have your cake and eat it too. You get what I'm saying? What other proof do you need I'm about this one? Actually, because friends all the time will say stuff to like support other people, like if they're going through some shit right now. Yeah, they're gonna back it up somehow. Like, yeah, well, that was kind of weird. This person, or that's kind of shady. This thing, they're gonna try and back you up. And then Zach, whatever, asked me like, hey, you put a thing out there, like. You didn't ask me to put those text messages out there. You didn't ask me to put that out there? Yeah, that's pretty messed These up. These private texts between you two? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. That's fake. Nick, that was that is a form of bullying. Nick wanted to talk badly about Stephanie Sue, and the only way to, to show that he's not the only one that feels that way about her is bringing his friends along, adding more people to the mix. And sneaky. And sneaky. But just to like make yourself look good. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. How else did you think you he was? Your friend under. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, it's so easy to read people. I don't understand how people are so naive and so trusting of others. I just don't get it. Especially if they've already done you wrong. They showed their true colors. Sneaky, sneaky shit. What else do you want to see, you know? What? I don't know. I'm done. You're done? I'm gonna eat your shit. Give it to me if you if you ain't gonna eat it. I'm tired of these videos back and forth to each other. I mean, all these views, like. They're feeding off each other. Y'all gross. I, they're literally doing it for money and views, which. 100%. I mean, if that's what you gotta do, but like, honestly, it's gross because people are actually involved in this. Not only that, but there's also real victims out there, like genuine victims of that are afraid and fearful of stalkers, people who are who sexually assault of rapists and all this stuff. And then you have these you, damn YouTubers just doing content for views. If you are invested and money and stardom, fame. And it's like a manipulation of audience because you're like going back and forth. Look, you're out thing out. I'm gonna love you. like, yeah, click me. I'll if you want, but like. Like, especially Stephanie, like, because Nick does this all the time, he's drama, whatever, but especially Stephanie, like, girl, this isn't your brand. Like, you're so much, you're, like, better than this. Like, what, you're not, I guess. My phone went up, 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 Dude, like, she's good. Stephanie, like, dude, you're, 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 the, you're all, you're trash now, like, me and Nick. Like, you're, you're down here below with all of us. Like, you just lowered yourself so fucking low, and it's so sad because, like, you were, like, I looked at you as like a pedestal girl. Like I was like, this girl just mind her own business and talk about personal life, just any fool with a fiance, like doing it. But now you're manipulating your audience and you're like coming for I don't know if like you and Nick are talking behind the scenes or what, or maybe you're not, I don't freaking know. But the fact that you're doing this is so manipulative and shows how disgusting you are. Well listen, girl. Nick Akato was about to expose her in some form. And she went the second she heard about it, she was about to protect her name first. Now coming up with this whole damn victim, traumatized, postpartum, and whatever the fuck she's going through, PTSD, I don't know, that's all bullshit. That's all bullshit. But everyone has the right to defend themselves. And she did that. He came out with another video. And she wanted to show receipts and proof and evidence that he's lying. That I am not that person, this is who I really am. Everyone has the right to defend themselves. But both of them motherfuckers are lying about a lot of shit because... <laughs> Oh my god, don't even get me started. And look, here's the thing. Yeah, I'm not any better. I'm a fucking disgusting trash that uses fucking, <laughs> you know, shit for clickbait. Oh my god, she's honest though. Trisha don't manipulate. She's not a manipulator. She's an honest, real person. It's gross, girl. Whether her personality and her thoughts are ugly or not. Because you use real life trauma. Mm-hmm. I'm... I'm, I'm Assuming that it's real life trauma that happened to you and you're using that. I couldn't imagine 
using some real life sexual assault trauma shit in my life and comparing it to the situation with yeah that's bad Nick Akad of Avocado saying in and out of sleep on his Instagram story you're comparing that to your sexual assault girl that's why I didn't watch that first video I didn't like the thumbnail I didn't like the title and then when I saw the bits and pieces about, I'm like, I, I was so confused because I didn't watch the whole video. I was so lost on how she connected her sexual assault to Nick Akato taking pictures in her home. And making fun of her about saying in and out in a message. Like, I was so confused. I'm still confused on where the connection is there. Trust me, I know. That's why I didn't watch that first video. I just like it when people have evidence and receipts and then um, to prove someone else wrong. That's why I loved her second video. Get it together. <coughs> what? Why would you ever have those two in the same video? Yeah. It's gross. I thought I thought it'd be so much better now. And Nick too, I, I wanted to trust Nick so freaking much, but damn. You really just gonna be up there leaking shit. Exactly right, all people. And he did the same thing to you when he when he tagged the um, when he did that in and out joke on Twitter and then or Instagram whatever the hell and tagged all his damn YouTube friends and nobody knew what the hell he was talking about, but it made it seem like they all knew what the, what he was talking about and it was all them against Stephanie Sue. Girl, he got he threw you under the bus too and you didn't even know it. That's sad. And yeah, you're over here still trying to trust him. It's messy, y'all. If y'all want me messy, be messy. Don't involve I, I pray to God this is fake drama because, and if it is, like, Stephanie, you're disgusting for going along with it because honestly, it's not fake. I felt so much better of her. So much better. And I pray to God this is fake because otherwise there's, there's some, like, messed up ish. Underlying problem. Underlining issue. Here's a mess. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's okay, girl. Your life's a mess. Like, what the hell, man? And just the back and forth of it. It's just like, it's not even the back and forth of it, but just like the severity of it. Like, you're really going to compare this to like sexual assault, right? Like, you're really going to compare it there. So if this is fake, that's disgusting. And if it's not fake, then like, like, get your priorities, you know? Also, that's gross. My hair looks gross. <laughs> What'd you do to your hair? <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, no. There ain't, there ain't fixing that, girl. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. Like, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing in 2020. Really? Okay. Dude. <laughs> well, you know. I thought you were done. Eating. Welcome to the trash bin, Stephanie Sue. You're down here with the rest of us now. There's no one up for you. I know you have all these big plans and... You're trying to brand yourself, but no... Your virtually brain is trash. I feel like I'm initiating you into hell because honestly, once you're down here, you're down here, girl. You're <laughs> stuck. You're down here. You're stuck. You're going to uh, have to keep creating drama with other people. Other than you're going to have to keep your relevancy now. She's so passionate about this. <laughs> and it shame on you. No, all sincerity, like, Nick, like, really, like, you're a good person, like, shame on you. Shame on you. For, he like, is not a good person, girl. That's what he presents and what he shows to people. That ain't really him. He's a bad person. And here's, here's the bottom line, guys. I don't know if this is what started all, but <laughs> if people flake on you, suck it up. People flake in this world. Tell them as a shitty person or whatever. But suck that shit up. <laughs> That's the worst thing happening in your life right now. Someone fucking flaked on you like. Alright. Let me stop because she's really making my stomach growl. I just want to uh, read a comment from a subscriber real quick. Okay, so this comment was from my last video. It is by Linda and Dujar. Good morning. I watched some of your videos and started to like true honesty. I speak on it a lot. So I subscribed to it just now. Exclamation mark. Okay. Happy new merry year 2020. Have a blessed year coming at your way. And then she puts a whole lot of emojis. Thank you, girl. Thank you so much for finding me, first of all. Don't know how you found me, but I'm glad you did. And I appreciate your comments and your support. And please keep watching because I got some, I've got some pretty good videos coming up. I ain't lying to you. Let's get back to the video. Like, actually, 
actually what the fuck. I think somebody she needs to leave. <laughs> she needs a break from YouTube. <laughs> Not a girl. You had it together, girl. You had it together. Hey, I'm entertained regardless. Damn. Let them. Got another one in the trash bin, y'all. We got another one in the trash bin. <laughs> it's, oh, it's just sad. It's just so funny that Trisha includes herself in the trash. It's just, uh, what has this world come to? Not like that, this YouTube world. I really hope I don't fall into that trash bin with you, with none of y'all. I'm hoping and I'm praying that I don't. And if I do, y'all, call me out on it. <laughs> all right, that was, it. that was the end of the video. I don't know what to say. I think she watched all the videos and then she just got annoyed and decided to to start to film. She's impulsive. She's, she goes off of impulse right away. All right, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.